Hey people, welcome to Bethel Brothers Hot Rod, another episode of Project Apache. I'd take a look at a couple more dents, I'll take you along for the ride. And if I get those done, we'll see what else we can get done on Project Apache. So stick around and stay tuned. Yesterday we were losing light, so I'll give you a little bit better look at this. It's still a little bit rough, but last night uh, we had to stop because we were losing light. Still got to bang a little bit out here and finesse this a little more. As, as you can see, there's some condensation that was building up. Know what I mean? It's wet and cold. Drip, drip, drip. So what I did is I took some clear coat, sprayed it on, and it protects the metal from further rusting. I did that on any place the metal was exposed after I cleaned it up. Even right there. Just to save from the rust damage. And if you're going to leave a metal part exposed, I recommend doing that. It's cheap, and it protects your metal until you're ready to work with it. But there's another dent I want to work on, and it's this one. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I didn't notice this, but Joey did say that, yeah, they put some tar on there. <laughs> this is not a good body patch. I mean, I hate Bondo, but this is even worse. So, uh, I'm going to knock up this dent and the one on the other side first. And then, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> I know I'm going to probably do some supports and junk, but <laughs> that was not the way to fix that. So <laughs> I'm going to try to remedy that, man. That's just, <laughs> and this side isn't much better. I think the shadow's kind of hiding it a little bit. There's an obvious dent there. <laughs> Go off the straight line of the house, man. <laughs> Yeah, so it's ugly. Looks like there's a little Bondo and junk going on. Before I start beating on the dent, these are some of the chips of Bondo that popped out. This one, at the thickest point over here, is actually over a half inch thick. And it just blew off. Now this one, I've marked the edges in green. At the far points, back when I was a carpenter, that's how much variance I was allowed to put in your house. It could be off by that much. Not this big, thick, nasty, half inch thick waste of time. Especially with the dent pulling and drilling the holes in the side. And I got something to say about that too. These drill holes right here, that was done. What they'll do is they'll drill a hole, they put a bolt through it, and then put their dent puller on it, and then yank on it. And pull the dent out, which it works okay. But my main issue, even if you weld these, it made a weak point in the still. The still they used back in the 50s was made of everything. It's not pure steel, so you'll get weak spots in it. That's why when sometimes you're welding it, it'll burn right through the metal. Other times you'll get into a good patch of metal. But it's important not to, to do that, because any time you hit there, you've just made a weak line. So don't drill into it. Spot weld something on to pull it out, but don't drill through it or hammer it out. Don't be lazy like this. This causes more damage. You just made weak spots in an already weak spot. So don't do that. Now for this dent, I could use a sledgehammer. I could use a little hammer. But I thought I'd use what controls the hammer to fix this dent. Sounds like the Bondo's coming off. Alright people, made a little discovery. After punching, kicking, beating with a hammer, even got out the jack. The dent's not coming out and I figured out why. Here's how it went down CSI style on the hot rod shot. Alright, they cut out said hole, put in skylight, whatever it is they're doing. Don't like it, the patch comes back into play. They put said patch on, but while they were doing that, they were like laying on the top. <laughs> so no matter how hard I push on this, because they welded that in while it was dented, the force when I push up on it, it just pulls it from this area or that area or somewhere else. It wants to hold on to the dent because they welded it while it was dented. So the only way to fix that is to cut it out. And what I'm doing now is I'm making some cross supports so when that comes out and relaxes, 
when Joey puts the t the piece back on, he'll have something to weld to. It's just backing, like in construction, man. You gotta have something to nail the roof to, man. Especially when you cut a big hole in it. Backing, structural support. The things, guys, need people. Okay, so, it's fabrication time. All right, people, what I'm doing is I'm welding up the backing. So I'm squaring it all up using the welding magnet and just check it out, you'll catch on. All right, kids, this is basically what I did is just welded it up, put a little round bar on it for some support. I left the middle section out so Joey could play with it a little bit, move it around. Uh, he thinks he's going to be able to drill holes through it and kind of move it around, but I don't think so. It's, you know, it's the way it's welded. It's welded for a dent. You need to take it out and then push it all up, support it, and then weld the piece back in so that's what that's for so it's not all see look I'll show you on here you can see where they welded whoever did this just kept burning through it here's all the old welding pieces it's just a bad job and it's holding it from being able to move it's in the crumple zone so my belief is it's got to be ground and took 100% completely out to be able to move this here dent and that dent, otherwise it's not going to move, it's going to hold that position because it's welded in that position. I was hoping it'd stretch a little bit, but I was wrong, so. Hey man, live and learn, right? Just prepping the valve cover, getting in ready. We're going to adjust the tap in the valve in the back. And we cut the crappy patch out. I did. And uh, it fixed the dent. The dent's pretty much gone. It just relieved the stress of the dent. I can't believe they welded a patch on there with it dented like that. That's crazy. So uh, we're going to try to figure out how to seal it up and get it all cleaned up and yada yada yada. Like I said, we're losing light and it's freaking cold out here. That's probably going to do it for today's episode of Project Apache, but there will be more to come, so thanks for tuning in and watching Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. Peace out, babies. What?